you're supposed to do it. Try to find a theorem of identity. Yes, someone has the actual correct answer. I'm actually really proud of you. That is really good. I wouldn't have known to do that first either. So the correct answer is to try the Pythagorean identity. So the first thing, we're gonna get it all to one side. Usually if you have a square, you wanna get everything to one side. So we're gonna do that. So two cosine squared theta equals zero. Then we're gonna type in as someone suggested the Pythagorean identity. Why? Because then it gets everything to sine, right? So I'll have, oops, if I type in the identity, it's one minus sine squared theta to the zero. So I moved it all to one side and then I was like, well, I don't want, I want everything in either sine or cosine. And so here I can convert this to sine squared using this. Then if I do all this together, I'll get minus two. Uh, so I'll have minus two sine squared theta plus sine. Oh, hold on. Minus the minus becomes positive. Sorry plus two sine squared, plus a sine theta, and then minus two plus one, so that we become minus one equals zero. Here we can factor this by pretending that this theta is an x, so I'll have two sine of theta minus one, sine of theta plus one, because notice here we know that if it's negative one and everything else is integers, that's a hop down negative one plus one. And so since I need, I want this to be positive, the negative went over here for two. Okay. All right, so here, let's split it now. Let's go ahead and solve each of these for zero. So if I have two sine theta minus one equal to zero, that's the same thing as sine is a theta equals a half. We've done this a thousand times already. So I'm just write out the answers. It's pi over six plus two pi n plus five pi over six plus two pi n. Here we'll have sine of theta plus one equals zero. So I have sine of theta equals minus one. That occurs at, so that occurs at three pi over two. But remember, negative one and positive one, it only occurs once in our normal period. So that's it. So we don't have to find anything else. We just add two pi n and we're done. So here are all my solutions. Okay. So here we found all the solutions. All right, so let's try this again. Here we have the double angle formula. Anyone gonna guess what we're gonna do here? We're going to split it, right? Here, we're gonna write this as two cosine theta sine theta minus cosine theta equal to zero. So here, we're just gonna plug in the what, what it was for the double angle formula. Remember, sine of, sine of two theta equals two cosine theta sine theta. Now we have a cosine in both and we can do what the other trick I taught you was, is pull out the cosine theta. Then I have two sine theta minus one equals zero. What do we have from here? Go ahead and write this as the two different ones. So the trick here is just to plug in the two sine theta. The trick here was just to plug in the Pythagorean theorem. Here we get cosine theta equals to zero. That occurs at two spots, like we've shown before. That is at pi over two plus two n pi plus three pi over two plus two n or two pi n. Here we'll have sine of theta equals a half. We've seen this a thousand times. So I'll just write down the answers. Two pi over six, two pi n plus five pi over six plus two pi n. Here we go. All right. So I'll leave this up for a second. You guys write that down. Uh, let's see where we we'll flip through all this. Uh, so it's nice. So today, so much just finishing what we had yesterday. Yeah. So I listed 
uh, seven, three, seven, four, and seven, five are all listed in one homework. And so I just put them together. Uh, so the answer to that, or orientation, you have mm -hmm, seven calculator, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. All right, let's do the next, last page, and then I'll let you guys get to crunching all your homework. Um, and then I'll post the two videos and finish writing your guys' test for the week, and then write all the notes for next week. All right, so here we have this. Um, and this is this is definitely this is definitely you know something I want you to see and something you can do or something you can do without things. This is definitely in the top category. So let me just show it to you. Okay, <laughs> quick question: What's the final? Oh, quick question: What percent of the final is trig? Um, it should be about. So the final is going to be commutative. So it's going to be each of the sections. We've been doing we did trig basically for a week, so it'd be about a twenty percent of it, roughly speaking. Um, I haven't write, written you guys' final, so it's still a rough guess. But you, the way that let me explain how next week will work right now, so I just don't forget. Um, next week is going to work. We're going to do we're going to teach for three days, and so Monday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to teach, and so it's going to be two section each. We're just going to do kind of cleanup for the trick class. We're going to do uh, color coordinates. We're going to do uh, sequences and series. We're going to do some other things like that. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, I think we'll do some binomial stuff if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, um, too. So we're just going to do some cleanup just for the material that you should have seen. Thursday, we're going to do all your homework's going to be due on Thursday, and same with your notebooks. They're going to be due Thursday, not Friday next week. Um, so 20 for every week, roughly, yeah, because even though there's only three days of teaching instead of four uh, for this one, um, I'm going to add a couple more questions from the later material just because I haven't tested you on it yet. So just to be fair on the material that you get tested equally on each material. Um, so once again, Thursday, we're going to just do everything through Thursday. There's going to be review day. We're just going to review and then I'm going to have a practice test for you. It's going to be worth homework points. You can do it. I think I typed in you get 50 attempts, right? Um, are you teaching pre-calc next semester? I'm teaching, currently I'm signed up to teach uh, 127, so just all the trig stuff again. And then I'm teaching like 124, which is the math that you have to take if you go into like nursing. So, um, and currently there's some petition for me to teach 431 because I haven't taught it for a semester two. Uh, I'm teaching two sections of 127. I'm teaching two sections of 124 and I'm teaching one section of the remedial math class. Though the engineers are up in arms because they want me to teach some of the more advanced math classes so they can take me. So I don't know, my, my schedule gets moved. I don't even worry about what I'm teaching until like I teach it, so I should. And that, Anyway, so Thursday, you're going to be doing a review. Um, and then I have a practice final. Basically, your homework that night will be to take a practice final. You get 50 attempts, so take it until you get it correct, right? And so just assume Thursday is going to be a busy night for you, right? Um, so take it until you get it as correct as you want. Um, and then Friday, we're going to do a review. Basically, ask me all the questions you didn't do super well on this, or you want a question on that, and then you'll take the real final. And so that way, you've had a whole day of review and practice, and then you're just going to repeat the process again for points. Okay. So yeah, you're going to have a complete practice. I'm going to. It's going to take me forever to write two of them, but you get fifty. <laughs> you get fifty attempts on the practice. You'll get one attempt on the final. Um, yeah, I think I'm only going to give you one attempt on the final. I don't. Hmm. Let me think about that. Um, do I teach 181? I have taught uh, 181 up in Portland State, but I have not taught it here in um, in UNLV yet, but I've only been here a year and a half. Uh, so do we get 50 jumps in the final? I may. I'm, currently, I'm only going to give you one because that's all, I, all I've ever given you. 
but some part of me may think I might give you two just because of how long it is and how much it is. Um, I might. So no promises, but I might. I just, I'll have to test how that works. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, to start computer science question. Yep, okay. Um, any other questions? Is anyone in honors college with this? Okay. <laughs> um, actually, now I'm sitting on it just because it's worth 25% of your grade and it's just so much. I'll probably give you two attempts. Remind me, remind me next week. <laughs> I'll forget. <laughs> so. Uh, what percentages do we need to get to go forward again in this class? So 70 is the cutoff, right? So this is a pass or no pass. So I'm just making it 70. If you get over 70, I'll tell my report the engineering department, go ahead and uh, release them to uh, uh, sign up for a CAC class. And if not, you can just retake the Alex test and try again. You can practice and try to take a car class. Or if you if you need if you need the time, if you need the time to go through 126, 127, or whatever, or just do 127, just go from there. Okay. Uh, do they want to take? Uh, but I'd have to take like 50 credits. What if we pass and we don't feel ready? If you pass this class and you don't feel ready, um, you can sign up for whatever math class you want. Um, but if you can pass this class um, with a 70, you're good enough to go into calculus. Do you need to know all this material? No, right? Remember, a lot of this you should just only see, and some of this you should be able to crunch through, right? Very few of it is really need to be here for calculus because in calculus, you're gonna just see a whole new different set of beast of things, right? You're gonna learn what a derivative is and you're gonna work through that. You're gonna learn what a limit is and work through that. I think calc one, I think you just start with limits. You work on limits, then you define what a derivative is. And then at the very end of it, you start working with integrals. Um, and so you're just gonna be working with new type of math you haven't really seen before. And then you get through what it needs to be. Sense to do. In social side through Zoom. Yeah, it is. You think it's hard through Zoom? I have to teach and stare at nobody, right? None of you put your faces up. I just get a chat screen. I feel like I should be Twitch, you know, Twitch streaming like some video game. I probably get more, <laughs> more interaction there. Yeah, do you like subs? Just go on. Have a little, have a little thing. One of one, one of my uh, PhD classes, I was teaching math uh, 663, which is advanced matrix theory and applications. And they told me to be on Twitch. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I shouldn't do that because I just couldn't imagine. I could imagine just the. It's like if so, what if someone gave me some like bits or whatever it is, right? I was like, um, it just get muddy. <laughs> So, all right, let's finish up the last bit. <laughs> all right, let's, let's finish up the last one. So this is something I just definitely only want you to see. So let's go through it. So here we have cosine of one plus sine of, of this. So in order to do this one, the trick here is actually to square both sides. How would you know to do this? You wouldn't, right? <laughs> that's, that's kind of my answer to that. My, my students in the class asked me, how would I know to do that? You kind of don't. So I'm just showing you the trick that way you've seen it once and then you'll know to do it, right? That makes sense. You don't know to do something until you've done it. So, so here we square both sides. What happens here? Well, because I want to get rid of, I want to get rid of sine. I want to do it in sine or cosine. So if I square both sides, this will give me cosine squared theta plus two cosine theta plus one, because that's if I square this. Here, this will give me sine squared theta, just because I square that. And then I can replace this with cosine squared theta plus two sine 
Oh, no. That's still cosine. Cosine theta plus 1. Oops, I have two pluses there. Ignore that. <laughs> Equals, and then here I can replace this with 1 minus cosine squared theta. All right, when I move that all over, I can get 2 cosine theta plus 2, or squared theta plus 2 cosine theta. The, so that becomes 2. The 1 and 1 cancels, and so this equals 0. And then I can pull out 2 cosine theta. So I'll have 2 cosine theta. And then this will be cosine theta plus 1. Equal to zero. I didn't really leave it. I didn't really leave that much room. Let's go just go and split it over here. So two cosine theta. If I could spell it all today. Cosine theta equals to zero, or cosine theta plus one equals to zero. Okay. So here we have, so 2 cosine theta equals 0 is the same as cosine theta equals 0. So, so cosine theta equals 0 at pi over 2 and plus 2 pi n. And then at 3 pi over 2, this is one we've done before, plus 2 pi n. Um, and then here we'll have cosine equals Theta equals minus 1. Notice if it's negative 1 or positive 1, it only occurs at one place. Where does this occur at? Well, this will occur at pi. And then we'll add 2 pi n to it. So here's here's all my answers right here. So these two, these two give me these two, and this one gave me that one. All right, so let me show you another trick. And so here we have. 2 sine of 3 pi equals uh, minus 1 equals 0. So here, we're just going to go ahead and so solve this for sine of 3 pi. So we're going to move over the 1, divide by the 2. Okay. okay. And, and then here, I'm just going to label 3 theta. So sine of 3 theta, I'm just going to say that it's phi. So we're going to say sine of phi is equal to a half. That means, and this we knew we knew how to do, just a simple replacement. Here we'll have phi equals uh, pi over 6 plus 2, 2 pi n plus 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. So that's what the answer is for phi, but I want the answers in theta. So here, if 3 so here we'll plug it in. So three, th three, so phi equals three theta. That's also equal to pi over six plus two pi n. Well, we can just divide out. That means theta equals pi divided by three. So it'd be 18 plus two thirds pi n. So you just divide out the three. And then the same, we can do the same thing here. So phi is equal to 3 theta, which is equal to 5 pi over 6 plus 2, 6 plus 2 pi n. Divide out the 3, that means theta equals 5 pi over 18 plus 2 thirds pi n. So here, if we're, if we're solving a single one and we have a triple or a quadruple or whatever angle, Go ahead and just replace this with some other thing, solve for it as you did before, and then just divide out the three. Okay? And then let's do the very last one. So find all the solutions of this. Here we have our half angle. Um, this one ends up, hold on, let me, let me do one edit real quick. Don't do this, don't do this one, do this one, do tangent. Do tangent of theta. That ends up this this makes this one all the much better. Okay. That way we, and we haven't done that many tangents. So let's let's let me alter that to make this to make my life easier and your life easier. So tangent of of a half angle is through this. So if we do this, we're gonna get tangent of phi over two is equal to one over square root of three. But here if we just took the arc tangent of one over square root of three, we're gonna get 
pi over 2 is equal to pi over 6 plus, and remember for tangent, it's just pi n. We don't have the 2 in front of it. And then here we can just multiply by the 2. So you can do the same thing here. So this becomes pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. So if you have these half angles or these triple angles, just solve it normally. Solve it completely normally as you, whoops, hold on, that is not, okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. Solve it completely normally as you would, and then just either divide out the three or multiply the two, okay? That's all there is to it. So these aren't, those aren't as scary as they look. The one that's really, the one that I think is the most hard to see what to do is this one. This one's really hard to see what to do. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got here? Roblox 